hello everyone welcome back to my channel today we're going to make a seashell wall hanging we had actually handpicked a few seashells on our last trip to Pondicherry Beach two years back and I have been holding on to them for making something nice out of it finally I brainstormed and I have decided to add them into a coastal inspired DIY decor item so let's see how I made it and let's get started with the tutorial so this is the kind of idea that I have I am thinking of making something on this line I have taken a thermocol sheet this uh, pattern paper this is a collection of shells that I have these uh, uh, these are a mix of shells the bigger ones right over here these we had collected uh, from a beach at uh, Tranku Bar in Pondicherry when we had gone for a vacation it was like really fun trip Grace had so much fun picking up these shells so we wanted to make a souvenir type of thing you know memory on the wall so we are using these shells then uh, the other type of shells that I'll be using is these are commercial shells that I got I don't even know if they are real shells or just made up shells but uh, these two kinds of shells is what I have right now and I'll be using these and I also had some wooden beads I didn't know what to do with these so I think I'll add them as well to fill in the spaces and I'm also using a few pearl beads like the plastic beads just in case I need to fill spaces I'm keeping these handy okay so let's get started uh, with the work uh, so first up let's uh, stick this pattern paper onto our base I'm using a double-sided red tape you will get this on Amazon it's really handy uh, pretty strong adhesive backing so next what you would need is uh, you need to have uh, just take a rough uh, paper and then sketch a heart shape so what I have done is that I have uh, folded this paper into two and then I have marked the heart shape over here um, by folding it it makes sure that you know your heart is of a symmetric size okay on both the sides it will look similar this is what I'm going to cut out now okay so take a scissor and chop this out now you have a heart shape so I'm deciding whether I should have it like this or like this I think like this is better so what I'll do is I'll trace the heart this is what I'm planning to do that I'm going to make these in the borders okay to form the border of the heart and then fill in the area of the heart with the rest of the shells so when I'm doing that I feel that a bit of color at the edge you know will make these white shells stand out against the background so what you can do instead of using the distress ink is to use a chalk paint or acrylic paint just use your sponge dauber this one or uh, any sponge dauber that you have like even a piece of sponge would do so these are used for acrylic paints and this is the one that i use specifically for this it's from the same brand so it's easier to use okay so if you don't have that is an alternative so what you will do is dab only along the edge and just merge at the outside okay so I'm afraid that when I'm using hot glue gun the heat is going to melt the bottom thermocol so I don't want to take a risk so what I'll instead do is I'll use this normal glue the F6000 glue that I have
so the heart outline is done and i think it looks good now next we'll move on to filling inside so my main focus will be on these bigger shells that i have these were the ones that we had collected from the beach when we went on our vacation so i think i'm satisfied with this positioning so first uh, how i'm planning to do is that i will finish sticking the bigger ones followed by these kind of uh, smaller shells the rest of the space will be filled up by these shells then these shells and a few wooden beads because you know they give a different kind of a color instead of having the same white color so this uh, wooden beads and then finally whatever gap is left will be filled up by our uh, these pearls okay so let's get started Okay, so we are done with the first layer and we'll be going in for the second uh, filling of not layer like the second filling of uh, shells we'll be filling in these balance areas with these smaller shells and also these shells and these okay these are the shells that we'll be using once it gets hot i will be using them uh, to put up our balance shells and no it's not hot enough i think yeah it's kind of hot enough so i think this much is enough for me so what i'll do is i'll put glue at two locations that is these two areas and i will be just putting it somewhere it will hold on to something and it will stick so that's it Okay, so we are done with the shells right now and I'll be moving on to the uh, pearls so you can just see how it looks right now. So I'm giving you a close up view. So there are still some spaces left here and there which I'll be filling with the shells. So this is how it finally looks after all the shells have been stuck together. So what I'll be doing is uh, since I, I don't have a backing of cardboard, I'll be putting up a last layer of cardboard over here so that you know by accident this just doesn't snap off. I'm just afraid. What I have is I have a mount board which is quite thick. So I'll be using it because it's already pre-cut to 12 into 12 uh, inches.
okay so next what we have to do is we also need to put some hooks because it's a bit heavy i don't think it's going to stay with the double sided uh, double sided tapes so i will be using these uh, hooks this i bought from itsy bitsy and it's really good actually so instead of having one uh, single hook i'm putting two hooks at these two sides because i'm not very sure that it'll be symmetrical the other way around first take the alignment where you have to put it okay don't put it upside down which i did first okay so we need the hooks at the back side of this side so we will put it here and then do a marking so that we remember it is here Okay. it's gone really well right now but I just want uh, an extra safety for this so I'm just covering the balance screw and stuff with hot glue so that it never ever comes out ever I'll keep it for uh, drying right now and then we'll be ready to hang it that's it